You ready, ready, ready to roll? All right, here we go. Three, two. Thanks, Kyle. And you never know who's going to show up to a big game like yeah, this. How about Emmett Smith, NFL all-time leading rusher? What's up, man? What do you think about being down here in the game like this? You know, this is an exciting night. Um, I know our Cowboys are excited to get back on the football field and and compete against a team that uh, that we lost to early in the year. But also, this is a chance for us to continue to show progress. Yeah. Uh, the progress that we've made over the last three or four weeks has been phenomenal. But uh, tonight is a is a real sizable test. What is it about Philly? I mean, it, it's always I know that sometimes we've been watching. It's been the Giants. But what is it about the Philly robbery in your in your well, words? This Philly team here is a complete football team. Uh, and so this team here is built inside out. They're built tough, and they're going to play tough. And so for us, uh, for where we want to go and where we want to be, I look at this as a measuring stick. Yeah. I look at this as an opportunity to showcase that we do belong, and we're going to have to match that intensity and that physicality that they're going to bring to the table. Because you've been there before. When you, early in your career, it seemed oh, yeah. like you had to get over that Philly we had, to, we had to get over that. I mean, because yeah. when you think back to 1990 when we played Philadelphia over at Texas Stadium, my very first time playing them, I believe it was, they sacked Troy Aikman 11 times. Yeah. Bro, 11 <laughs> times in one game. And he was getting beat up. And Buddy Ryan, them, you know, they just kept bringing the, bringing the heat. And so we had to match that heat, and it took some time for us to do that. But when North came and created that system for us, we were able to get physical with people. And we developed that physicality that, that we needed, and that's the way Jimmy wanted it anyway. I don't know. Uh, one more question. I know you're busy. I'm going to ask you about a current running back right now, Tony Pollard. He gets, he's heard. I don't know if you ever heard, oh, he's too small. He can't do this. You probably heard, heard that over that your... shit my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about the way Tony's running the ball right now? You know now, what? Though? I'm happy that Tony Pollard was able to bounce back because yeah. I was real unsure whether or not he would bounce back and to what level. You know, a lot of people are disappointed because his numbers are down. I'm not. And like I always try to tell people, people try to think that the number two guy is always the better back because he has the yeah. stats that looks good or he get the flashy runs and so forth. When you become the number one, all that goes aside because everybody's preparing for you every week. Right. And therefore, you have to, you're going to have to suffer some, some twos and some ones and some negatives, and then you may get a four or five here and there, yeah. and it gonna, it's going to balance itself out. And that's what I love about Tony Pollard. He's here. Availability. The best ability right. is availability, and he's available tonight. Well, we appreciate you being available. We throw out the term goat a lot. This is the real goat. I mean, for <laughs> real. It, it gets thrown out too often, in my opinion. This is the goat. Just look at the record book if you want. Emmett Smith, thank you so much thank for joining you, us. He's the best. Kyle, yes. back to you.